you because the last time this Why? was here, I didn't get the, I was supposed to be in my show. Oh. Gone. But yeah. I'm glad that I waited because this is the lowest price. Now, customer pick, by the way, at $699. Lowest price in history, $299. It's on a reduced shipping. It weighs 70 pounds, but it's easy to assemble. I buried the lead, $50 on your flex pay. It's a Komodo style grill for not $1,000, for not, you know, too heavy to support. Not on my 300 second, pounds. Not 300 pounds. It's only 70 pounds. Absolutely, but Eric, this cooks in that same way that has made a Komodo style grill so famous. That is correct. And I'm gonna give you a little taste. We're not gonna we're not gonna take this to the table okay. yet. Okay. I wanna show you what the Komodo style all cooking right. is all about. So here we have a pork butt that we Ooh. did low and slow. Oh, man, and this is good. a 15 inch Kamado style grill. You might be used to the, you know, the real big guys out there on mm -hmm. the marketplace where once you place it, it is permanently fixed. This is actually portable. This is only 70 pounds. This is only gonna take you about an hour to put together. Oh, that's crazy. And we have the pork going low and slow. So we have a temperature gauge that goes way down below 100 degrees all the way up to 800. And it will actually tell you, it's a little color coded. In the yellow is your smoking range. The, uh, the orange is your grilling range all the way up into searing. So between 200 and 225 and 250 is ideal for smoking. Right. So we have that for so the wait pork a butt and your so, briskets and your ribs. So it's a five in one. It's a five in one. I can grill. You can grill. You I, can sear. I can sear. You can bake. Bake. You can roast. Roast. And you can smoke. And you can smoke. And you're getting, this yeah. is like a half off sale. I just, I want to show you real quickly before it sells out. You are getting, which incidentally, it is the ceramic and the cast iron. Eric's going to give us the whole story, the whole shebango. We're including the case or the cover, I should yes. say, the cover for no additional cost. You get this great, it is easy assembly. Uh, you do also get a recipe guide and kind of a little cheat sheet, if yep. you will. So if you've never used anything like this before, it's like, oh, how do I smoke? What, how do I sear? How do I bake? How do I roast? You get all that. So whoops a doodle, let me just set this down. I'll drop the iPad. Here's the grill paint. You also get this great you. little uh, pizza stone. Look, I've already- You got the grill. They right? have the pizza stone, but also acts as a diffuser when it's on right? the bottom. So when you're smoking or baking, mm -hmm. you put it here and that's gonna help create an oven. Absolutely, and then beer can chicken. So many great ideas. And there's that little cheat sheet that we were talking about. Tells you exactly what to do, how to do it, how you gotta set the bottom and the top vents and it actually comes with the tools as well. Nice. So right out of the box, you're ready to go. You are. And you're gonna have recipes to be inspired. You are, hey, Robin and Leo, Matt Davis, we see you. Uh, Cassie, we always love to see our, our fans here in the kitchen. Big thing for me is though, first of all, I, I love the size. But more importantly, Eric, you know, I've worked with you on so many different things. And when Eric and I talk behind the scenes, I, no kidding, I've gotten some of my best ideas from you. At the end of the day, yeah, a half off sale. At the end of the day, a Komodo style grill that doesn't cost over $1,000. But the combination, well, I should, let me pose it to you this way. Yes. What makes a Komodo style grill special or different? Is it the flavor? Is it the way it cooks? What, what, why, what's the deal? Well, it's because of the design. Kom Komodo style uh, grills and ovens are over three, it's over a 3,000 year old technology. Wow. Started in China, got perfected by the Japanese, and then just over time, and what makes this so special and what makes this great compared to uh, knockoffs yes. is that this is ceramic and cast iron construction. Ceramic and cast iron. Cera oh, wow. There's ceramic inside, which we will show okay. at, the, at the what Perfect. you get. Sounds and good. then the cast iron, and that actually will retain the heat. So you can do the low and slow like we did with the pork and all the way up to searing that I have with the steaks. Oh, we are all the way over 400 degrees. And the only Whoa. reason that it dipped down to 400 is because I opened the lid. Right. But we were over 500 degrees here. And also what makes it special is that it has two vents. There's okay. one at the bottom and then there's one at the top. And what this does is help control the airflow. Oh. So what is important there is that when you open this all the way up, the air comes in and flows up through the top. Right. Just like your chimney at home. Oh, sure. Like when you open your flue, oh, yeah. the air comes in and up through your chimney. Oh, that's a good analogy. So when you open it all the way up, you're getting maximum airflow. Okay. So that's when you're gonna be searing and grilling. Right, no, do, okay. Because the big thing for me is whenever we talk about these kind of specialty, these unique, these, you know, artisan styles of cooking, it's like, great, I gotta go to a particular website and I can only buy this kind of pellet or this kind of, you know, 
coal or whatever it might be. What does this use? Is it easily or readily available? Yes, uh, what is recommended by LifeSmart is lump charcoal, okay, lump. which is readily, readily available right. in your supermarket. This is wood that's already been, um, for lack of a better word, burned and cured for you. And we don't recommend the briquettes because that's oh, made right. of chemicals and yeah, things like yeah. that. And this actually burns longer oh. and cleaner oh, and no hotter kidding. than briquettes. Oh, well, okay. Do you know, I almost took those bear claws and ripped it because you have no idea how much self-control it has taken me to not, you know, start double dipping. What are you doing? We're gonna, because we have this low and slow, we're gonna go ahead and do some mac and cheese. All right, I talked to Helen earlier and she got the last airing of this, the last time it was on the air, and she's like, Shannon, you gotta tell them to do that, that, that jalapeno mac and cheese. People went absolutely out of their minds. So what are you doing? You're, you're baking, smoking, we're, cooking? We're, we're baking and smoking. At because the same Because what, what I did was I added some of the wood chips through the grates. And what I also did was, because we were, going low and slow with the pork, I went ahead and opened up the vent all the way up right. and opened up the bottom. So we're gonna get an Perfect. increase of temperature in order to turn that into baking. Absolutely, Joey and Diane, good to see you. Uh, actually, they had a good question from Scott. He's asking how to clean it. And then we gotta continue to talk about the features and the benefits, but uh, the cleaning, I would imagine- Cleaning gonna... is very easy okay. because the, when you use lump charcoal, the, the best thing, the thing that's great about lump charcoal is that you can close up the vents and anything that's remaining you could just put new stuff on top oh, and burn it off. You're right. Like I said, it doesn't create as much ash as a briquette would. Nice. So yep. you can use an electric starter or one of the little chimney starters to get this going before you add it in. Okay, but let's talk about the flavor. The this, flavor is is second to none, which is, is why insane. so many people love the Kamado style cooking. So now this, was that a low and slow? This is low and slow. This was about eight to 10 hours. No kidding. And you know, it's so funny because anyone who follows any of those, you know, pit master grilling, you know, those shows and, you know, of, of which there are, are many, that's a whole skill set. Yes. I mean, there are people who have devoted their entire lives to their, you know, secret something, something. The because secret. they are up for yeah. hours on end. They, they wake are. up in the middle of the night to stoke the oh, fire to man. make sure the wood is still going. And what is, is also rough. critical with Kamado style grilling, wow. because you can get the low and slow, is that you get that smoke ring. When you look in here and you see you a see little that? pink ring, oh, that's man. what those pit masters right. love. And that's why those places have lines around Absolutely. the Absolutely. Hey, Vicki Lee, just in case you missed it, uh, uh, Chef Eric is using the wood chips when we do the smoking. So the wood chips are when you're doing the smoking. Now remember, you get not one, but two guides. Your uh, quick and easy setup, plus some little, you know, tips and, you know, charts and guidelines for searing, baking, roasting, smoking. Remember, it's a, a five in one. And then you're also getting a little recipe guide as well. It's 70 pounds instead of the hundreds and hundreds of pounds that you would spend for a t typical uh, style grill. And not only that, it's only a $9 and change shipping charge instead of, you know, I can only imagine how much something that weighs hundreds of pounds right. would cost. And then it is the lowest price in history. We have fewer than a thousand remaining. Hey, it is grilling season, Labor Day all day and every day. Um, you're gonna have this, so you're gonna be the pit master in your neighborhood. You will make friends. How about being able to remove the bone The dog directly ain't getting from, nothing. No, there's nothing left, you can't give this to the dog. Nope, the dog anything. is getting, okay, can I just point out though, when I go to those rib fests and you see things like this, the, that is not where you take a first date, which I've done and will never do ever again. Maybe that explains some things. Well, yeah, we you need know, to talk after they, the right? show, because, Shannon. You know, you're picking, you're chewing, you got the things, you There's got the stuff. dripping you, all over you, the place. You're, you're sauced, and I'm not talking about alcoholic beverages. You know, it's this is the way to go if you want the secret to succulent, fall apart, flavorful, Grilling, and by the way, more than just meats. I love that Chef Eric, they're doing, you could, you could bake your casseroles, pies, anything. So you can bake, you can roast, you can sear, you can smoke, you can grill, obviously. Oh, let's Eric. Let's talk size, because wow. everybody you know, wants to know, okay, it's, yeah. it's a 70 pound Kamado grill. I would recommend this would be perfect for, say, a family of four if you're you know, grilling and stuff like that. Now we did one pork butt that's about oh. a 10, 10 pound Man. pork butt. You could feed a lot more than four people here. Uh, so yeah. when you're doing your smoking your ribs or your brisket or your pork butt like here, you're gonna oh, be able I'm to feed you. at least up to 10 people if not more. 
And I then mean, for sure. But I'm telling you, you don't, you know, it's kind of like the white meat on turkey, turkey day. You, you have gravy because it's dry. Right. No sauce required. Before, you don't have to, you know, zhuzh it up with sauce and this and that because it is fall apart delicious. Is part of it, I know we mentioned the, the ceramic and the cast iron. Is part of that how it holds heat and conducts the heat? Yes, and let's let's actually want to show them yeah, what you get, and, let, and let's Perfect. talk about that. And we'll talk about the smoking because okay. that's really where the flavor because comes. Because I got to tell you, at, at this price, I actually I did not know they were going to put this on sale for me. I really did not. So it is reduced shipping. Now this is actually kind of the the, the basin insert. Yes, this is the ceramic insert. Okay. So ceramic. Think about all the um, the clay pots that different cultures use. Same concept because the ceramic can, you know, holds the heat a yeah. lot, you know, a lot better, and right. it's very and it's very thick. So you can actually see this is probably a good inch thick ceramic. Then you have the grate inside, and this is where the charcoal will actually sit on top gotcha. of. Gotcha. And so you put that on the inside. This is the opening that co you know that coincides with the, right. the vent in front. Exactly. And then you have the cast iron on the outside, which on is outside. also thick. Okay. And that's going to help retain the heat. And that's what makes right. the Kamado style uh, right. grill and smoker yeah. like so iconic and so important for oh, people. Oh, for sure. And then now this grill plate goes on top. Yep. Okay. If you're like for smoking, because you actually want to kind of diffuse the heat sure. and create more of a, an oven. You want to use this plate, and it's right. also going to help catch any drips. It, oh, yeah. So, so you don't extinguish the, the right. charcoal. So, Scott, if that helps you, too. I mean, this is removable, and then you just kind of sweep away, or you can just keep building. You just keep you building, know? and then you could also use it on top as a as a uh, pizza plate. R right. Oh, as, yes. And we're going to do that as well. <gasps> oh, smoke pizza. Yeah. Oh. You can do whatever you want. And, you know, it's perfect for a little personal 8-inch pizza. Well, okay. It became a customer pick at the regular price. And I, I'll just sell, tell you, we... We all lost our minds. Oh, and the cover comes with it, too. Yeah, and that's usually an extra oh, with other sure. Kamado grills. Oh, check that out. So it's you can now size. protect it from the elements. You can now cook fall, winter, spring, oh, and summer sure. if you want to. Absolutely. Hey, Rick, I was in a flash to get out here. Does, does our computer say the height on this? I know we're saying... Uh, it we're is 28.3 inches tall. From winner, winner, chicken stand. dinner. Thank you. What do I win? Do I win a pork butt? <laughs> do, do I win a smoked pork butt? You do. Oh, I wish we had smell a vision I was so looking forward to this. I mean, first of all, I love Chef Eric. He's so talented. I mean, I've known him for years, and no kidding, he's been just such a great source of information for me. But this, you really are kind of our... Res, you know, one of our resident pit masters. I always see you in the great outdoors here with these grills. You're Look, always- we were talking so, so long, I lost track of our <laughs> hot dog, Shannon. Well, thank you. I've, you know, I've been a chef for over 25 years yeah. now. And I'm a foodie. I love going out and trying different things. Yep. So I love to be able to try new things like this. We also kept this grill very hot so we can do a mixed grill. Right. So you have people in your life that might be picky. Sure. So you, you want to do chicken. You want to do pork. Can burgers, I do fish dogs. on this? You can absolutely do can fish. Can I really do can fish? Can we do fish? Can, you, can we do We're gonna fish, We're going to do cedar plank says. salmon. Well, look at because that. Because you can. You oh, can, yeah. Cedar planks are, are a great way to infuse flavor into salmon or any kind of fish. And these are readily yeah. available in a lot of supermarkets. Oh, sure. Hey, can I ask you a stupid question? Like, as an example... There on, are no stupid on, questions. <laughs> thank you. Good man. But if I'm doing, say, a baking uh, that smoked macaroni and cheese, anything that would fit in my oven in terms of temperature or any recommendations there? Like I would, the, yeah, I would stick to oven temp. I would try to get it at the 350 gotcha. range. Yeah, I'd I mean, also keep an eye on it because right. you don't want it to, you know, yeah. burn the, the, you don't want to burn the, sure. uh, the top before Yeah, the, I would the say inside. common sense kind of prevails yeah. there. I'm actually going to check that real okay. quick. Okay, oh, actually, perfect. Wow, are we busy. And I got to tell you, I, I, at this point, there is uh, no other airing of this. They did this special sale and adjusted pricing right now. And it is for Rick, the fewer, we have fewer than a thousand, correct? So fewer than a thousand. Oh, look, look at, at that. that. So here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna mm -mm, shut the top mm -mm. vent. I'm gonna shut the bottom vent. And then that way it can snuff itself out and any of those remaining uh, charcoal, yeah. you can use the next night or oh, the yeah. next day. That's a good tip. And if there's any ashes left over, you can open it up and you can just get it right outside the bottom right there. I know, there. hey, it's so funny because we were just talking our peach caprese salad. I almost brought some of my peaches from the kitchen out here. You could do your grilled stone fruits, you could do your fish, you can do your shrimp, you can bake your macaroni and cheese, you can smoke, you can roast, you can grill, you can bake. You can get it for the lowest price 
ever, 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 for the fewer than 1,000 people that we have to go around, you're getting the cover that we normally charge separately, of course, the, the tools to put it together, simple and easy assembly, for this show, or as long as supplies last, boy, that's about as good as it gets, Eric. That's a little medium right there. Yeah. I would have taken it off in a, in, yeah. you know, a minute for or sure. so sooner. Um, I actually oh, used wow. this last night for a, uh, for a party. Oh, no kidding. I grilled three New York strip steaks okay. and three of our Stonington lobsters that we just aired tonight yeah. in Marlowe's show. Yes. Fit it right on and, and fed eight people. Wow. I'll tell you what, that... It, it, to me, this is a drop the mic moment. I, the thing is, there are grills and then there's the, the Komodo style grill and never the twain shall meet. There's, there's, so, th there's a reason that they can fetch prices of over $1,000, Exactly. Right? I mean, there's a reason. There is a flavor that is second yes. to none and that really has to do with the way it retains the heat and then also that charcoal. For sure. Uh, you know, the lump charcoal that people use. As well as if you're going to infuse flavor with smoke, you have your big chunks of smoke that you could do, that you could uh, put on there when you're smoking your briskets or your pork butts. Or if you're doing something quick and easy like steaks or the mac and cheese, yeah. you have the little chips that you can uh, absolutely. throw on there. Okay, Georgina read my mind. All right, Georgina, I'm gonna share with the class though. I'm gonna have a bite of that steak. I yeah, can't, I'm gonna, I can't I'm, help I'm, myself. You're, I read your mind. Oh. oh you're oh. just gonna go for the big piece. I was gonna actually oh. cut you a... Do I look like Did, a delicate flower? Where are your boxes? And I could, I could box this up for you. First thing I said. <laughs> I need my bento boxes. Thank you, Eric. I'm gonna feed our crew. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh so, my gosh, that's good. So it locks in the flavor. It cooks quicker because not only is it searing oh, on the bottom, wow. but when you have the lid closed, mm. it's acting like an oven. So it'll slowly cook it on the outside. Wow. So a steak like that, I probably would have done four minutes and four minutes and then done. So in eight minutes, you could have this great medium rare steak. I gotta tell you, I've done a lot of grills with Eric, you know, on and off the air and that, Wow. I mean And that's and that's the that's the Kamado grill difference. Wow. And you can do this at home easily for a family of four. Oh man. Okay. Dan is here. Are you doing OT, Dan? Is this overtime for you? Would you like a little meat, my friend? Share with the class. <laughs> Love you. Okay. <laughs> Cynthia's like, hey, I see you every week. He's here doing OT. He's getting a bit of time extra. What about me? We're going to feed you. We're going to feed the crew. We're going to try to feed as many people as possible because mm. we're cranking out enough food to do it. Wow. So that is good. You ever go to the carnival and you see people mm. with the big turkey legs walking around and they're, That's my they, favorite. they pay a lot of money? That How is about my favorite. Smoke your own turkey legs. Oh, come on. They're very inexpensive. Mm. And you could do it at home. No problem. Okay. Low and slow, just like the pork butt. And I'm not sharing this. I'll just tell you that right now. Because those those turkey legs, you don't know if they've been like, you know, soaked in something. Oh, right. If they have any sulfites or whatever Wait, it they're is. Usually, they're you know, they're usually. I know. I'm, I'm, we're tearing up. It, tears we're, of joy. We're getting all it the really clips. I mean, because it's because it's the real deal. It's not a like oh you know It's it's not a pretender. This is a real thing. So there's, there is real smoke. So yeah, we're getting a little emotional, a little teary-eyed over here. Um, but so, so Eric, and that natural kind of charring process is natural. That's what you want. That's that. That's that flavor. That's that char. That's that yes. smoke. That's, that's where that that's where flavor is. When you when you're searing, yes, you're locking in the natural sugars. Everything in right. life has some sort of sugar. Boy. So when you're grilling vegetables and meats. You're, you're coercing those those sugars and caramelizing things, and that is where the flavor is. Uh, I will tell you, in fact, I, Joey said too, nothing like a great steak. Sharon said needs a baked potato with butter and sour cream. Uh, Monica Grace, I would feed you if I could. And Patricia, you are right along, well, you're up with me, girl. Smoke turkey legs. I'll take care of the feeding. It, thank you. For you all out there, See? I'll take care of Shannon. But what's interesting about the turkey legs in particular, sometimes when you get them at, at the carnival, the amusement park, you know, the whole nine yards, first of all, they're sitting under heat lamp. You don't know how much sodium They've injected in there. It looks and pink. It, it looks pink. It's always kind of tough and a little sinewy. You know those little, I don't even know, fibrous thread things that are going on. All right. So you can oh, do that man. at home. It's juicy. Oh, cool. this, is my, this is juicy turkey legs that mm. has this great smoke flavor. Mm. And you can mm. do those types of things. Remember, this is a five-in-one. You can bake. You can grill. You can sear. You can smoke and you can roast. Mm. You can do that all in this. 28.3 inches tall. 
70 pounds. It's gonna take you about an hour or less to set it up. It's very right. easy. Very easy. You put, the, you put the rack together that it sits on, and you put the handle on the, uh, on the lid. Right, and that's and that, it. And that's pretty much it. That, that's and, it. And, and you get those recipes you, that come with you, you to walk so, you through the process. Uh, a little cheat sheet, a little quick assembly guide, mm -hmm. recipes, you know, I, I call it the cheat sheet uh, chart. If you're wondering, you know, what do I sear at? What do I bake yeah, at? Yeah, let me what grab I, that real what quick. What do I grill at? And remember, it's for this show. There's no other scheduled show with this adjusted price at this point, which makes sense because it became a customer pick at over $600, fewer than 1000 Labor Day, Labor Day, Labor Day. If you do this now with that reduced shipping of less than $10, you get this home, and trust me, you're going to meet neighbors you didn't even know. They're, they're going to come running. Right. They're going to say their neighbors. Is everything okay over here, neighbor? I smell smoke. <laughs> no, right? this is good smoke, sir. Yeah, it, it is. But this is the, the, the recipes and a quick uh, you cheat get, sheet. You get 10 recipes plus three rubs done by yeah. Jamie and Bobby Dean. So they know their stuff when yes, it comes to, you know, smoking. And they actually walk you through the process. So for the barbecue chicken, it'll tell you to you know where to put the the top lid and the and the yeah. you know the bottom vent. So put the top lid on right. two and the bottom vent on on three or four or whatever it is. So you really can't make a mistake. No. Hey, they walk you through it. They do. Melissa is in a hurricane prone area and she said she can't wait to get it. And you know, Melissa, that's an excellent point because when you think about it, really good. This is your portable kitchen. I mean, it's really a portable kitchen because once more, you grill, you roast, you smoke, you bake, you sear, you do it all. Uh, ribs, of course, you're absolutely right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Another piece of turkey. Okay. Oh, did you say ribs? Yeah, oh, let's, ribs. Let's do some ribs. Ribs. A little old thing like ribs. What's interesting about ribs, though, and let's be honest, grill masters and pit masters make whole careers out of ribs alone. Out of ribs alone. So what if it's your St. Louis style, your baby back Kansas ribs. Kansas City. Your Kansas City style ribs, your beef ribs. You can do it in here. Again, we did low and slow because the temperature gauge will guide you. You want between 200 and 250 degrees for proper smoking. And when you use that lump charcoal, because it burns longer and cleaner, you can get a very long smoke. And all you do is you follow some recipes, like what comes with it, yeah. and it's gonna tell you how to set your top vent and your bottom vent to get a long, proper smoke. Uh, absolutely, hey, one quick thing. Uh, we, we use these things called flow sheets where they, they give me planners notes. And uh, according to my show notes, these are the final quantities. So if we do happen to acquire more, which at this point does not appear likely according to my planners notes, it will not be the $299 price. So, you know, just use that information for what you will. It is also on a six pay flex pay. So it's only $30 in your credit card to get home. So it's basically a half off sale. It became a customer pick. What, ooh, what do you got These for are the now? ribs. Oh, they've got the ribs. Oh, now you know what's so interesting about this though? Now, is that just a dry rub that you do? Dry rub. So, I mean, no, because when I was t talking about those pit masters, man, they spend days working on those ribs. So yeah. you just like a little dry rub and yeah, let, and, let and the, in the, the recipes that come with, are, there's actually three different rubs. Or oh, if you have one that you, good. or if there's a rub that you like, that's go really ahead and, and use that. It's so oh, easy. You man. know, a little salt, salt and pepper is the key. So you could always just start with a decent amount of salt and pepper. Then you can, cow, it, you know, man. you can infuse smoked paprika, oh, brown sugar, wow. things like that. So whatever it is that you want, you can, you can put on whatever you'd like. But, but and you know, you're going to get so much good flavor I, out I of this. I know you, I asked you this earlier, but I gotta do it again. Cause we've done, you and I have done a lot of grills together. Why is it that the, the, the flavor is almost a little hard for me to describe? It's like, duh, I've had ribs out here on other grills, but I'm like, right. it's, it's, there's more depth to it. Is that my imagination? I it's mean, not. It's the technology. It's that 3,000-year-old technology that is not brand new. It's just over 3,000 years ago, Kamado-style grilling started in China, got perfected by the Japanese, which yeah. actually in, Jap in Japan, the um, Kamado means cooktop or stove. Oh, no kidding. Yes. Oh. And because of that technology... Because you have that cast, that cast iron and the ceramic, yeah. you're at, you get that perfect temperature. So with that airflow, that dual airflow, you could either grill and sear right. or bring, you know, close those vents down and you can uh, do the low, slow cooking. Okay, I gotta tell you though, pizza night will never look the same ever again. I mean, seriously, macaroni and cheese will never look the same ever again. If we're lucky, we'll, we'll have time. Maybe we'll have time right. to so, reveal that. So Eric, just a real quick tour again. Yes. That's your temperature guide, right? 
So uh, you get a little like built-in thermostat, yes, if you will. Yes, right here. You yeah. have your thermostat, which will show you when you're low and slow or all the way up to searing. So it goes from 50 degrees all the way up to 800 degrees. Nice. And that's, that's a huge difference. And you're not gonna get that with a lot of imitations. But, no, and so, then, so you vent it at the top. Oh, look at that salmon, man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. And is, so it really kind of yeah. surrounds the, whatever you're cooking it with gives that the, heat. It gives the food the ultimate heat hug is really what it does. Because you can Perfect. control that top vent and the bottom vent, yeah. and that's really where the magic is because it's controlling airflow that goes from the bottom through the top. So it, I, I love that. It's a, it's a heat hug. I just made that up on the spot, Shani. I, I, I like to see, I, when I say he's a creative force to be reckoned with. So Look try that out. This, this is okay. the, uh, the cedar plank salmon. Nice. We, only, we had that on for less than 10 minutes. The, oh, that man. fire kind of chars Boy, it, really but then flaky. infuses with this beautiful cedar flavor. And it's nice oh, and, yeah. and cooked perfectly on top. Oh, wow. And it's a flavor that's just, it's really second to none. And a lot it's of true. markets nowadays will actually have this pre-made. They do. Because you can actually do it on the grill as a kind of a grab and go. So if you don't want to create your own, go to your supermarket. Go right. to your... You know, your local market, grab one of these, yeah. take it home, and throw uh, it on here. By the way, last 900, give or take, price is only good as long as supplies last. Even on my uh, planner's notes, they are saying that the 